buenos días, soy María Pacheco y estoy aquí con Keta Rodríguez y Ligia Chinchía, socias de Kiev de los Bosques. La verdad que nos emociona muchísimo estar aquí y contarles de nuestra empresa. ¿Cómo surge Kiev? Hace 18 años nosotros estábamos trabajando en comunidades de recovering ecosystems. However, the women in those communities that lived in extreme poverty and hunger were always telling us the same things. They were always saying, if you help us sell what we do with our own income, we can do what you want to do here. So, this this became the quest of what to do with Kies de los Bosques. And now we want to present you, to introduce to you a system that achieves exactly that. Creates income for women, transforms the cycle of poverty into cycle of prosperity, but most important than that, turns cycles of, of uh, despair into cycles of hope. We are a company with a mission to bring worlds together, and we believe in two important forces, the power of dreams as generators of inspiration, and the force of markets as a source of sustained prosperity. We have created a brand called Wakami. This is the brand that we use to export products to 12 countries around the world, products made by women in rural communities in Guatemala. What is our collective dream that drives us? the following, that no community m must have a deficit of homes and no home must lack a window. All windows must look to a, wi to a garden and all gardens must include a small ball. All balls must belong to children who attend the school and all schools must have groups of parents who work together. All those working need to be able to make it to the markets, and the markets must multiply homes with windows. The new windows will multiply trees and birds so that the sun, the sky will be blue and the sun will shine for all. This is our dream. However, the Guatemalan reality is very different. We are stuck in a low e economic growth cycle, and one of the results is the increase of poverty. This means that in these homes there is no possibility of any schooling or decent eating. So the cycle doesn't change but, but worsens. What we love is the fact that if, if we change one part of the cycle, the whole cycle changes. We have decided to change the part of the cycle of low-income homes into higher-income homes. Despite the fact that Latin America has a high handcraft potential, it is impossible to consolidate large production or large outputs. But now we have exclusive exporters per region. They are co-investing to promote our brand and, and take it around the world. This is how we look right now. We have a, an exclusive import agreement with Corazón de la Tierra in Spain, and we also have one with Olga Mar in Mexico. We are about to sign similar treaties with Canada, Panama, the Dominican Republic, and we are under negotiations to sign up a similar agreement with an exclusive importer in the United States. Who would be our retailers? Who are our current customers and who are distributing Wakami products. We see many logos here. Some of them are highly impressive, like for example, Ralph Lauren. But the, the, what I love the most about this mix is exactly the mix, the diversity of customers we serve. My product, for example, is good for Capers Pharmacy, Capers Pharmacy, which is a pharmacy in a small town in the United States, as good as it is as it is good for San Francisco MoMA or for the Sixth Floor Museum at the, from the J and F Kennedy Foundation. It's also good for Ralph Lauren and Docs from Australia. What this tells me is that our product has a high potential and a, a high potential of customers and potential buyers. What is the Wakami market? The Wakami market is a market of gifts. Here we are in the segments of souvenirs, collectibles, and novelties. However, given the nature of our products that tell stories, it is very easy to move from where we are to segments for season decoration, uh, cards, and uh, articles for parties. The gift market since 2006 is on the low, and that is exactly this depressed market where Wakami was born in 2006. Since 2009, we have been doubling our sales every per annum. How big is this market? 
this market in the regions where we operate and in the regions that we intend to reach uh, soon comprise 407,000 million dollars. We have a market share of 0.0034%. The question is, can we increase this market share to make it to where we want to go? If you ask me, I am passionate about Wakami and I know we will. But what do our customers tell me? Well, you will be looking at different illustrations of our collections and what customers tell us. This is what you make of it. This is a journey companions. And the message is, this is the right of your life. Enjoy it. This is what we have in the Brookfield Zoo. And this is what they tell us about how the system works. These are different uh, bracelets. And this is the Earth bracelet, our spearhead. This bracelet tells the story about how the Earth was created. And this is our participation in fairs. What do customers tell us in the, f in the gift fair in New York when they s when they check 6,000 and so booth and they tell us you were the highlight of the New York International Gift Fair. This is one of our largest customers today, the Greater Good Network. To, we have f five products of 125 different jewelry products in their pay website. Who buys Wakami? Currently, 24% of our customers are male and 76% are women. And these are the regions where we are. This year, we are going to launch two unisex collections and one collection for men because we want to increase our market share in the male market. We are multiplying our products. Ex exclusive importers help us multiply our sales forces. We will be multiplying our force, our sales force in the regions where we are, but then we will reach the rest of Central America, the Caribbean, and South America. What do people buy? These are our collections. As you can see, we have two collections, which are our spearheads, as we call them. The Kingdom of the Light, which is a complementary collection, and two new collections that are that have a huge potential to become our spearheads in the future. This is our average price structure. For this year, with sales of $535,000, we will reach our break-even point. This means that we will be producing and selling, more important than producing, 127,000 products, and we will generate 107,000 hours of work for rural women in Guatemala. With this installed capacity, with the groups that we are currently working with, we might triple our production, our output. And this is our forecast, our, our expectation. We are want to make it more than what we are doing now. Who is our competition? Our competition is handmade products from Asia and Africa. And the hardest thing is to improve their prices. So we are using a strategy that is based in low volume and, and high volume and low margin, and we are promoting the idea of brand. We are selling gifts that promote a lifestyle, not just handcrafts, because that perception of the product price is different in that case. That is why our investments appeal to history, design, and the packaging of our products. What are our risks, the raw materials, for which our requirements cannot be met with the local market, and the international standards are very demanding. We have providers in China, India, Filipinas, and Guatemala, and we test every new batch of material that comes in. And they natural disasters. Our producers are in rural areas that are highly vulnerable to natural disasters. And we have the risk of not having communication with other groups. So our groups are located in different geographic zones, and the methodology to incorporate new groups can be replicated in a very short term, and it, we find it very easy to incorporate new groups to the production chain. And because we consider this in a plan, it has been very easy for us to manage this.
our history tells us that this is possible. We were born in 2004. Wakami was born in 2006. In 2011, we have broke even. We are sustainable at long last. This is where we are now. Uh, proudly, we can say we made it. And we believe that by 2015, we will achieve the real success. There's a problem with the audio. When the products of Wakami will be sold around the five continents, and we employ at least one million three hundred thousand women in the rural areas. When communities of, of the earth, this NGO that was created to, for the rural companies, will help us promote the concept of Wakami villages. Our plan to achieve this, in number one, is to expand our exports. We have a problem with the audio again, so I apologize if I can say what she is saying. To continue to, continue to be innovative, using different designs and sectors. We still have this idea of having three new collections every year. We want to increase our exposure. Few people are aware that we exist, and still we sell. If more people were familiar with us, if we had greater exposure, we would sell more. We need to increase our work in social networks and international fairs, of, and of course, we need to manage our growth. We need to grow 100% per year. That has been very difficult in the last two years, and it will be difficult in the next two years. And we need to continue to invest in communities of the earth, our NGO, so that our Wakami Villages project can become a reality. Our planning figures, it looks very positive for the next five years, thinking that in the next, in the coming two years, we will be experiencing the same growth rates we had in the previous years. Our income curve will be more stable in the coming years. This means that our return on sales will be 6% this year, and it will be 21% in five years. What investment do we need to achieve this? In three years, we will need to invest for this plan to be achieved 422,000 American dollars to create the marketing strategy and the working capital that we need to grow. We are doing, we have done lots of things in the last two years, and we already managed to obtain $287,000. However, our need is $135,000. We need $100,000 in equity and 35000 in short-term debt. What do we offer? A minimum of, of, of five years of sharing our dreams and our happiness. We want five years. We want you to have you five years with us. And we want you to be f okay with a return of 20% of your investment. We would need two years of grace. Those returns should go back to the investors as 50% cash every year, guaranteed. And the other 50% would be invested in our NGO, Communities of the Earth, to set up the Wakami villages. Our exit strategy is that we are willing to rebuy, to buy back your investment at the face value of the investment, but also plus a premium whose amount would be determined later. Esto con un premium a determinar con cada inversionista. Many years there and I really congratulate you and your team for what you have accomplished. Uh, I heard so many times growing up from different NGOs and different organizations that certainly meant well trying to do what you're doing and it, it, a project would start with a lot of enthusiasm and then it would uh, eventually die out for various reasons. So I think this is a really good example of where the private enterprise has come in and achieved something with so much benefit that NGOs with 
a lot more resources and technical ability and all that weren't able to achieve it. So I, I congratulate you. Thank you very much. Well, Pueden explicarme un poco el trabajo directamente con los grupos se hace una ONG. How you work exactly with NGOs? Did you set up an NGO? Is is that it? Or and and what are the plans to to grow it? Because it seems that the uh, that the growth of the company is very much dependent on the capacity of the NGO to uh, grow and to to add communities and so on. So how, how vulnerable is the model, uh, depending on that? Well, the, the company used to do the work of the NGO, but then we realized it was important to separate the, uh, the, 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 the social aspect from the company aspect. In our model and the accompaniment that we uh, provide, there are local uh, technicians who have developed a, m a manual for a business methodology. We have a technician who visits once a, a week with each group for about three hours, but the process begins with the dreams, just like we began with our dreams. And so it starts with the dreams of the women. And for most of them, it is to you have a source of, of income. And I think that's true in many parts of Central America. The process begins then. And after the fourth month, when uh, uh, the group has already been semi-structured, then the women start receiving an uh, income after the fourth month, uh, although this is a two-year process. We have got financing for NGO for the next three years, a uh, total of $660,000 to invest in the NGO and the model we've developed. And maybe Lihe can complement this. When we <coughs> uh, reach the market level, 50% of the part that we uh, uh, that we share out to or uh, uh, members and investors, half of that goes back to these women. And so sometimes we have more funds, sometimes we have less funds, but when you have a market-driven strategy, that markets makes it so that you become less and less vulnerable and dependent upon uh, projects and donations. Yes. Exactly. We need you to accompany us in this dream, but also invest in the uh, NGO. The return upon investment needs to return in two parts. The first in terms of cash for reinvestment. But we know that you want to make the investment, but also do uh, do social work. And then the other 50%, unfortunately, we cannot hear the, the audio due to interference. These are $10,000 that help us to uh, finance the NGO. The NGO has to finance itself but also uh, comes from this return of the of the uh, profits and <coughs> our fourth partner who's not here there's the three of us and and a fourth partner but we are willing to give 50 percent of the profits of our company back to the ngo so that there's better leverage so that's what we want to do so it's literally half financial and half social I had a doubt about the a financing strategy for the company. If we know that other sectors where there's not very much collateral or real guarantees for uh, lenders, they have assigned sales contracts so as to triangulate a little bit uh, access to working capital. Have you tried this model? Do you already uh, use it? If you do, does it work for you? We had the opportunity to be very close to a factoring because we already have sales contracts with exclusive distributors in different regions. However, the supply, the commercial supply, 
doesn't work for us. They were asking, or you know, contracts and collateral and guarantees, also personal guarantees of Maria, Keita, you know, or uh, and anybody else who might help us. So the, these financial guarantees or these models uh, that are traditional don't work for companies such as ours. We try it and it didn't work. What we are doing now is that we are now doing an assessment. And it was very nice to see today how Julio was talking to us about a company called Metro Red. And that same uh, company, the same company that did that assessment is assessing our company now. And it is doing us based on the contract backlog, uh, evaluating our company, uh, not with multiples, but uh, backlogs. and basically looking at our future sales contracts and that is something going to help us very much to a, a, for companies such as ours to climb. We don't have assets. What we have is many contracts and uh, now we have them. We didn't two years ago but now we really have a firm contract and, and guaranteed sales for the next few years and the credibility of companies that don't have assets and who only have an idea regarding a contract, it's not very commercial, it's not very credible. So I think this is uh, something that we will now be able to be much more serious than we have uh, thus far now, but only because we have these futures uh, contracts.